Well, many years ago, I used to be a merchant banker. In the course of my career, uh, I went out to advise a large conglomerate of companies which owned um, businesses in many industries. And one of the industries I went to have a look at that they owned uh, turned out to be a slaughterhouse. At that time, my favorite food was filet mignon and lobster. Well, I, well, I saw that day in that slaughterhouse absolutely terrified the living daylights out of me. It profoundly affected my life in such a deep way, I decided to become vegetarian in spot. But shortly thereafter, I happened to be on a business trip to India, and uh, I saw a dairyman dragging his injured cow at the slaughterhouse gates. The cow had been in a lorry accident and had broken her spine. And he dragged her to the gates, but to get her to move, he threw chili powder in her eyes and he shoved sharp implements up her anus. And alongside her was a starving, bedraggled calf. As you know, you can't produce milk unless there is a calf present. And he dragged her to the gates and before he handed her over to the slaughterman, a man milked her. Now that does not change the heart of a man, nothing will. So I went back to Australia and I studied the dairy industry and I found out that milk is meat in liquid form. It is a cruel, disgusting industry. And I just decided I would become vegan. And more than that, I would become a campaigner, an advocate for social justice for the most powerless of all on the planet. And that is the, the animal kingdom. So that's what drove me to make those important decisions and for why I'm here today. I suppose that's a difficult question to answer because many things happened that caused that, uh, that decision. But the best way to put it is, uh, I suppose that it was an incredible combination of coincidences that uh, brought about the, um, you know, the final decision to do that. Uh, not the least of which were probably the fact that I was involved in the animal industry, um, buying and selling animals for, well, really for slaughter. And, um, and, and, with that, with that, this incredible coincidence of the fact that I meet and marry a born vegetarian lady, Debbie, uh, was quite a coincidence, I guess. And then uh, when you move forward along, my first daughter is born and she's also a born vegetarian. Um, none of these uh, could be construed to have an individual impact, but together, these and many other things had a great impact on my life. And with that, I started to do research. And with the help of great sages of truth, I started to see through the illusion of um, eating meat. And I started to understand the real consequences of what we do when we, when we eat meat. And I suppose once that illusion fell away, I was, I was um, fully convinced that uh, I had to change my life. I couldn't carry on supporting that industry and feel good about it. So I had to start changing my life. Look, it took a little while, but it was the beginning. It was the, the I suppose it was the trigger that was pulled that started me to change.